Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Today I'm going to do a video showing you how I use my Peloton. Now I've had my Peloton Bike Plus for a little over a year. I've done just over a thousand workouts in that time and I still love it. I'm not using it as a clothing rack as you can see. All right, so this is actually the Bike Plus. And I originally got the Bike Plus for a few reasons. I wanted to be able to pair it with my Apple Watch and it's got this auto follow feature that I can show you when I turn on the bike later. And then another thing the Bike Plus has over the bike is it has a swivel screen. Now, when I saw that, I thought, well, that's really stupid. Who needs a swivel screen? But you know what? I use the swivel screen every day. <laughs> so it turned out to be a really cool feature. I'm glad I got this one. So we've got the Peloton bike set up here. It's on a mat. This happens to be my old bike trainer mat that I just repurposed. Uh, if you have, especially on a carpet, you need to have it on a mat to keep it all level. Uh, it's plugged into power and it also needs an internet connection. So we've got that all set up. And I, once I started doing all the strength training workouts, I added a nice workout mat out here in front and then I found this little rack so I've been, I store my dumbbells, my, my bike shoes, my yoga blocks, my yoga blanket, and I got three sets of weights that are over here on this rack. And then in the little basket over there, I keep some towels and some other equipment. Okay, so it's important to get your bike set up for how you need to use it. You know, all the different adjustments. You can adjust your seat depth, the height, the handlebar. And so there's a whole Peloton 101 that helps you get that set up and it gives you some information about the proper form. I actually uh, watched a setup video that Christine Dare Cole did, and Mark helped me really set it up and tweak it for me. It was actually, I needed to lift the seat a lot more than I expected. So if you are having any kind of pain or issues, it's always really important to try to get your bike fit to you. So I would check out some resources. The Peloton subreddit is a really good source for more information about that. There's even professional bike fitters that will do a bike fit with you on Zoom, if that's what you need. Okay, when you get to your Peloton bike, this is the home screen. So this is uh, our two profiles for me and Mark. Uh, we can actually add more people to our bike. If we have somebody come over to visit, they can add their profile uh, and you can manage those here. So let me just click on me, get started. So this brings up my home screen. So it shows you know, my favorite instructors. It has some recommendations if I'm not sure what I want to do. So it's got, you know, kind of some daily suggestions up here for me. It's got some live classes up at the top. It tells me congratulations on my three day streak since I've worked out three days in a row. And if I keep scrolling down here, it also has a lot of things most popular. You know, if you want to add a class, popular with other people with my hashtag, working out with my friends. So if you're just getting started with your bike, you know, it'll make some suggestions where you want to get started, but probably the best thing to do is to start with a program. And the programs are groups of classes that you can go ahead and get started with, and it, it walks you through exactly where you should start, and it's got a whole setup for you. So uh, here's some programs. These are, there's some strength programs here. There's some boot camps. There's yoga programs, uh, discover your power zones, uh, peak your power zones. So there's really all kinds of stuff here. If you're just getting started on cycling, a good class to take is this Mastering the Basics of Cycling. And it lays you out all here how many, this is six weeks, four days a week, 28 classes. And it tells you all of the equipment you're going to need and it gives you a nice, a nice platform just to get started and learn how to use the bike. Okay, so sometimes you might want to take a live class. Uh, so there's sometimes you'll see there's some classes up here that are already in progress and you can join these if this is something you're into. Uh, a lot, I'm on the West Coast, so a lot of the things actually will say uh, Encore because it happened at some other time during the day. Um, but when they do an Encore class, it appears to be live and you have a live leaderboard and all that good stuff. Uh, usually if I'm looking for a live class, though, so I'll just go to the schedule and I can see here there's all the different kinds of classes at the top and then you can go by day of the week. So. You can click, um, you know, for tomorrow, here's all the classes that are going to be live in, in my time zone, um, which is uh, the West Coast. So a lot of these aren't things I'm going to do. I'm not going to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do a live class. Uh, but you could if you want. And then you can add them right to your schedule right there. So when you first log in, you'll see these notifications down here. And this will tell you that this says one of my friends is working out right now. And if I want to, I can see what class they're doing and who it is. And then also shows which ones of my hashtags are working out right now. So hashtags is really cool because it's a way to find all the people in your community. 
And so now I can see all the different hashtags working out. There's the hardcore group. There's I am, I can, I will, I do for Christine Dare Cole, Dennis Menaces, et cetera, et cetera. And you can make your own hashtags or you can just pick your own tags. So uh, hashtags, basically, uh, you can have kind of your core hashtag that you wanna always show and you can change this for every ride or every workout. Uh, and then if you want to explore other tags, you can see all these different tags. Uh, and this is kind of like Twitter. You can see the trending hashtags. There's featured hashtags. You can see the hashtags that your friends are in and you can see popular hashtags. If you don't like any of these hashtags and you wanna make your own, you can add your own hashtag or you can search for something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a ride right now and show you how it works. So I'll do this one. Let's start it. And so this is another way to connect your Apple Watch. So basically if you hold your Apple Watch up to the Peloton logo here, it'll connect. You have to say okay on your watch and then you start the program. How are you? I am Christine and I'd like to welcome you to the Mood Ride. Okay, so this is another great feature about the Bike Plus is that you can push this little lock button right here and it turns auto resistance on. So when she calls out what she's doing, all I have to do is just, so that it locks those two numbers in and it will adjust it for me uh, automatically so I don't have to keep turning this knob up and down. So that's a really great feature. I don't always use that if I'm on a power zone ride, actually I can't, so I just adjust it myself. Uh, so here's all the stats here. Another really great feature that I like that took me a while to figure out was if I like the song that's on, I can click that little music button and then I just push this heart and I've got it linked up to my Apple Music so it creates a little playlist for me and so any of those songs I can go back to on Apple Music at any time. All right, so I'm gonna show you the leaderboard and how that works. So um, when, you, when you join a class, now this is not a live class, although there were people in this class. Um, so what it shows on the leaderboard, it shows the people of all time who've all done this ride. So 16,000 people have done this ride and then it shows you who's here right now. So right now there's about 580 people doing this ride. And you know, you can just, it shows you how you're doing against everybody else once you get started. Um, but if you, uh, you know, if that's too much for you to see yourself at the bottom like me, you can filter yourself and you can filter it. You can show just yourself so nobody else is on the leaderboard. You can also do like your gender, your age group, or you could do, um, maybe you wanna do your tag. So if I do the hardcore tags, it shows me 37 people here with the hardcore tag, and then I can just race against them on the leaderboard. So it's a pretty cool feature, and it really helps you see who's there with you. It can be really motivating to give somebody a high five and have them high five you back. Okay, so there's a lot of classes that you can choose from here, but what I normally do when I work out is that I create a workout stack. And it was a little hard for me to figure out at the beginning. So the way you find it is it's down here with this little plus button that looks like a calendar. It says three classes in your stack, view stack. So basically I made this stack um, off the bike I did on my computer. I usually do it on my computer or my phone. Uh, and the stack feature is great because it allows you to stack up to 10 different classes. So I can modify it here if I want to. I can click on modify. I could add a new one if I want to, or I could delete one of these, or I could move the, move the class up, like that. So if I decide I want to do this class in the middle instead of at the end, I can move it back and forth. I can delete a class here if I want to, but I'll just leave it as it is right now. So this is a great feature. You can stack up to 10 classes, and um, Peloton's made it much easier because before the stack was a little bit different on the bike versus the phone versus the computer. But now it's all the same interface, and this is a great feature uh, to get all your workout ready. So you, when you come upstairs or just or wherever your bike is, you're ready to, just ready to get going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my strength stack for today. I like to do this hardcore stack. Nicole Gonzalez is a personal trainer and she makes a really great calendar with every day you have a different discipline to go through. So today is actually a full body day and I'm gonna start with the standing core. So when you go to start your workout here from the stack, you'll see all of these, all this functionality on the screen. Um, so it'll tell you, you can actually, you can connect a Bluetooth speaker. I've never done that, but 
There's no Bluetooth uh, connected. You can also use headphones if you want some privacy or you want to, uh, some privacy for the rest of your house. Uh, this. You can also use an external heart rate monitor that Peloton sells. I don't do that. I use my Apple Watch for the heart rate. And this, this tag here, I can actually change my tag for this specific workout. So if I wanted to change my tag to something else just for this one workout, I can do that. Uh, I like hardcore because I'm working out with the hardcore crew right now. So if I just cl click start, we'll get started. Baby, how are you doing? I'm your coach, Rebecca Kennedy, and welcome to your 10 minutes. All right, so I want to make sure that I can get my heart rate, my heart rate information while I'm doing this. So I click on the Peloton app on the watch, and it's connecting. So you can say, see, it says Apple Watch connected, and when we get started, it'll show my heart rate right there on the screen. All right, so the workout's done. They usually do like a little stretch at the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead up across the top here. You can rate the class. So I liked this class, it was cool. The instructor was great. Stream quality was okay. The playlist was okay. And overall, I think it's five stars. And it was, uh, it was you know, I'd give it a six out of 10 for hard. So I can also, if I want to, I can bookmark this class if I want to keep it for later. I can share it. If I click share here, I could share it with my social networks or Strava or Fitbit. And if I want to find out all the details, I can click right here and it pulls up my stats and it shows me what I did. It shows, this is a new feature they added lately, body activity, which is really neat. That was a core class. So you can see the muscles in my body all lit up. And because I had the heart rate monitor, from my Apple Watch, it also shows my heart rate stats. Okay, so when I'm all done with a workout, I love to do a great stretch. And in this case, I just have all of my favorite stretches bookmarked so I can easily find them. So the best way to, to find your bookmark classes is to click down here on classes. And then across the top, it's got all the different kinds. So I'll pick stretching. And this will show me kind of all the latest stretches. But if I don't want to do one of these, I can click over here on filters. And then I click bookmarked and it shows 30 classes. So here's all my favorite stretches. They're all bookmarked. I've got different ones, full body, uh, upper body, glutes and legs. So I can just go through these and I can pick one I want to do. Okay, so I've had my Peloton bike for more than a year now, and I still love it. I thought I would love it just for the bike, but it turns out that I love it for all the classes. I love the strength training, I love the yoga, I love the stretching, and it's really become a part of my life. I don't see myself ever going back to the gym. The best part is that I can just walk upstairs, come to the gym, have a whole library of workouts, and never have to leave my house. Thank you so much for watching our video today. I'll include more information, including a link with my Peloton referral code in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do a video. And for more smart home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.